Welcome to 461 Control Systems. The first four weeks of this class we'll be dealing with Programmable Logic Controllers, or PLCs. PLC is basically a microcontroller that's, that's programmed with a graphical language called Ladder Logic. It has eight binary inputs up here. It reads 24 volts as logic 1, 0 volts as logic 0. Four relay outputs. When these are true, the relay closes, false, the relay opens. For your convenience, a little breadboard has been built. This board takes the binary inputs and connects them to push buttons over here. These push buttons are connected to LEDs, so when you push the button, the LED turns on. It also applies 24 volts to the pin. You can see that right here barely. As you push the button, a little rectangle turns dark, and it recognizes it as logic 1. The relay outputs are connected to LEDs so that when the relay closes, the LED turns on. You can see that here. Currently the program is set up so when I push button 0, the red LED turns on. You can hear a click. That click is the closing of the relay. In addition, there are four binary inputs. We use inputs 6 and 7 as the analog inputs. These analog inputs interpret 0 volts as logic 0, 10 volts is full scale, and between 0 and 10 volts is the range of the analog. These are connected to potentiometers right here that allow you to apply different voltages. The second pot is also tied to an RC filter and the blue LED. When this reaches 10 volts, the LEDs on the right all light up, showing you have 10 volts applied or max analog input, and when you decrease the other way at 0 volts, you get 0 volts applied. The fourth relay, the blue LED, is also tied to an RC filter. This is to simulate filling up a water tank. When you start filling it, the voltage increases to 10 volts. When you open the relay, it discharges down to 0, and you can see the voltage increasing and decreasing on the LEDs. To program a PLC, you need to use Connected Component Workbench, that's this icon. To start with, you'll need to tell it what type of controller we're going to be using. We're using a 2080LC10 QWB. Left click on that icon, drag it over, and that'll tell it you have a new project using that type of controller. Go into the Programs, right click and add a new ladder diagram. Double click on it, and this is your program. Now ladder, ladder logic, this is a graphical language. You have inputs and outputs. The inputs go on the left, the output goes on the right. Think of it as this is your 24 volt power supply. If you connect the relay to 24 volts, it turns on. If I want a relay to always turn on, like always turn on the red LED, I would take a direct coil, Drag it over here on the right. I will then ask you, what is that output coil? This is one of the I.O. pins. D.O. are the digital outputs. Those are the relays. D.I. are the digital inputs. Those are the push buttons. Output 0 is the red LED. At this point, the red LED is always on. You've got a couple types of outputs. A direct coil means if it's powered, it's always on. Reverse coil, if it's not powered, it's on. Set coil, if you give it a pulse, it turns the coil on and it stays on. Reset coil, turns the output off and stays off. Or it turns on on the rising edge and falling edge. So this program right here always turns on the LED. If I wanted to turn on the push button, those are these guys down here. These are the switches. This is a normally open switch. Push, it, push the button and the switch closes. A normally closed switch a switch which turns on momentarily on the rising edge, a switch which turns on momentarily on the falling edge. If I want to turn on with the first button, I would then tell it I want to use digital input number zero. When I push button zero, it turns on output zero, or the red LED. To compile that program, go on build. Time passes. If successful, 
you then download your program. Click on download. Tell it this is the device right here. It will then tell you that you are about to turn off the PLC, download a new program, warning you that if the PLC is connected to something, um, turn it off. I'll say yes, I do want to turn the PLC, take it out of run mode and turn it into program mode. It is now downloading the program. When it's done downloading the program, it'll ask you if you want to start the PLC. program is now done downloading. I'll say yes, start the program, and now the program is on the PLC. So that when I push button zero, the red LED turns on, release it, the button turns off. There's also a thing called debug mode right up here. If I turn on debug mode, okay, I'm now in debug mode. You can see that here I have my program in blue, that means this line is not energized. When I hit button zero, it turns red, seeing this is now logic one true. Take the switch off, turns blue, turns red. That also matches up with the PLC. As I hit the button, the red light turns on. That's to get you started, and the later videos will start doing different types of programming.